Hey everyone, this is Alex Meyer giving you a very important video update. I am going to start making awards videos again. <clears throat> now some of you may not know what I mean by that and I'll explain briefly. A couple of years ago I started making uh, videos directly on Facebook where I would talk about the nominations for things like the Golden Globe Awards and the Academy Awards because if you know me you know that those are some of my favorite TV events of the year. Uh, award shows, at least proper award shows, things like uh, uh, like like a reality TV show awards that I, I don't give a crap about because reality TV mostly sucks but you know proper award shows that honor you know movies and TV and stuff like that those I'm a big fan of and I look forward to every year the way that diehard football fans always look forward to the Super Bowl and for me the Academy Awards are my Super Bowl I analyze, dissect, predict everything to a T, and I watch with anticipation if something I like wins, I cheer with joy. If something I hate wins, I'm like, no, oh, no. But, and I'm sure most of you movie buffs are like that too. You all know I'm a huge movie buff. I go to the movies all the time. It's like the only other thing I spend money on besides gas for my car. Um, you know, I, I don't go clothes shopping too much. I don't go shopping for other knickknacks or anything like that. I, I save my money on movie tickets. But anyway, um, what I wanted to say was that uh, I haven't made award show videos in a while, partly because Facebook underwent this thing where, you know, with my computer I had at the time, it wanted me to upload the new version of Adobe Flash Player, saying that was the only way I could keep making videos, but my computer I had, which used to be my dad's, which was like a 2006-2007 Dell model laptop, uh, it was, didn't want to upload that, being of being of how old of a laptop it was. And now Facebook has this policy where you can't upload videos directly from your webcam onto Facebook anymore. Now, if you want to upload a video onto Facebook, you have to get a video file directly from your computer's hard drive and upload it that way. And I did do that this summer when I posted a video of the um, fireworks display in a local park about 10 minutes from my house. I went to see that and I thought it'd be cool to film the fireworks display and I did. So I posted it up there. But anyway, um, so that is why over the past few years I haven't been making award show videos be just because of the way Facebook has changed and the way you can upload videos. But I'm excited to say that I am now planning to make awards videos again, and not just about the Golden Globes and the Oscars. I am going to cover everything. I'm going to cover the... This might be controversial for some of you because of the way the nominees are chosen and voted, the People's Choice Awards. I want to cover that because there can be both really good and really bad nominees in that award show every year. I'm going to, of course, cover the Golden Globes. I'm going to cover the Critics' Choice Awards. I'm going to cover the Screen Actors Guild Awards, or the SAGs, as they're known. I'm going to cover the BAFTA Awards, which are pretty much basically the British version of the Academy Awards. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to cover the Academy Awards itself. Uh, now, of course, the Grammys also occur during this awards season time. I will be watching the Grammys. I watch the Grammys every year, but I will not be doing any coverage on the Grammys, not because I don't like them as much as the other award shows, but because... You know, in January and February, when most of these award shows take place, it's like a very crazy, hectic time, not just for trying to keep up with these award shows, but, you know, life gets hectic in general. And I'm just not going to have enough time to devote the Grammys the coverage that it would deserve, because I want to cover each award show equally. Although I will admit, part in this video series, my main focus is ultimately going to be on the Oscars. Every other award show will be covered in full detail, but it's the Oscars that always have the most coverage not just because of how prestigious it is and just how important it can be for someone's career in Hollywood, but also because, unlike most other award shows, the Oscars are the only main award show where, in some categories, some, not all, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, that's the organization that uh, runs the Oscars, they will release lists of eligible films in certain categories meaning that the voters can only choose from those films to be the nominees for that category once the official Oscar nominations come out. And that will actually be my second video I'll make after this. I'll be covering the very first um, 
Oscar contender category for a certain category of the Oscars. I won't say what that is now, but I'm, I'm going to keep it a surprise. So, but you'll see once the video comes out. Um, yes, so I'm going to try and get these videos uploaded as soon as possible when the nominations come out for a certain award show or when uh, contenders are released for a certain category at the Academy Awards. I'll do my best to get it up within a few days. You might have weekends are probably the best time for me because like most of you, my day schedule can be, you know, some days are more hectic than others for me, but I'll do the best that I can to stay on top of things. And when I actually make videos about actual nominations, I'm not necessarily going to just sit here in front of the camera and read the nominations to you from a piece of paper. I, I will still be doing that, but I'll also be displaying the nominations through a PowerPoint. Uh, we'll see how that works. Um, I'm hoping it'll work well, be, but I thought I might do it in the form of a PowerPoint because I want to give a face, I guess you can say, to the actual nominees, a face and a poster. I want to display the faces of the people that are nominated through pictures and display posters of the movie that are nominated. So, you know, that, that I feel is a little bit more unique than what I've done in the past. And also, if you go on my old Facebook videos from four or five years ago, you'll see that whenever I was reading nominations, if something I predicted was nominated and did get nominated, I would give a thumbs up. And now looking back on that, I realized it just looks really dorky and weird. And plus, it was very hard to do. It would take me multiple takes to film me doing that, giving the thumbs up at the correct time. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to simply read. Um, I will be giving my thoughts on the nominations once they come out. Um, you know, because with every award show, there's always going to be nominations you're very proud got in. And there's also going to be nominations you think didn't deserve to be there. And you'll also think that there are nominees that should have been there but were not nominated at all. You know, that, that happens with every award show. You know, voters are human. They like what they like. And these award shows are always kind of a, a compromise of sorts of what voters like the most. You know, some voters will absolutely love one movie that is in the running and others will absolutely hate it. You know, it, that's the way it goes. You know, so... So yeah, that's all I pretty much just wanted to say here. So so in the future, especially these next few months, look for a, a lot of videos about uh, updates for Oscar categories, uh, nominations for award shows, um, and all of that. And I'll do my best to get these videos up as soon as possible. You know, I can't guarantee that I'll get them up on the day that the... <clears throat> excuse me. On the day that the actual nominations come out. Um, but I will do my best to keep everyone up to date, and if you uh, have followed me in the past for uh, award show coverage, you know, please keep doing so. I will not only be uploading videos to Facebook, but I also have a, a two years ago I got a YouTube account so that I could start commenting on my, my favorite YouTubers' videos, and now I'm going to actually be uploading videos to my YouTube account, so not only can people I know watch them on YouTube, but people I don't know who might be movie buffs like me if they want to look at my videos that that way they can look at it too if they're not friends with me on Facebook because like I said before I will be posting videos to both Facebook and YouTube so yeah hopefully all you guys are doing well and wish me luck in this endeavor thanks bye